Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the tip? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it, and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be... However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We can certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some Rover. Let's come back later, shall we? Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Mr. Mortify? Is that the person you were talking to earlier? Mr. Xiang Liao, I think? Yes. It doesn't take me much effort to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit he's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have. Considering its dreadful conditions, I can't agree more. How could he choose to work in such terrible condition? It's like willingly playing a score backwards. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Mr. 
part of he? We found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena, and the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the disks are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives. Namely, the grand libraries. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner, too.
Rover about the sugar pearl. What do you think, Rover? Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The magistrate had information to share while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask. Maybe she was running out of time. That's why or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues, in other words, there are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers working in Jinjo. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Jang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dog. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panqua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.
This is Panwa. Good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. What do you say, Rover? Looks like Bijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. And with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Bijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. Oops, <laughs> I got carried away. My bad. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that sword only took us one trip to the academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was gonna make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? Yes, that may work too. Any plans for the next two days, Rover? An ocean of stars, a dark-haired girl, an inverted etheric sea, and the resonance you said it was flowing in a certain direction, pointing to the gorges of spirits and the Norfolk Barrens. Hmm. You've never mentioned this before. The etheric sea and resonance chords in your dreams are real, possibly leading to the gorges of spirits and Norfolk Barrens. Perhaps it was more than just a dream. That girl might be the key to recovering your memories. Madam Magistrate's information aside, it seems to me you're it's a site of the Thrinodian War and the source of all TD outbreaks. The Midnight Ranger's frontline space is stationed there as well. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? I believe in you. Without a doubt. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? 
That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen. Nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, she could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass. And no one would question it. Sure. So you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Ranger? Mm -hmm. Exactly. His name is Ji Yuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own, but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Dongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinjo. Mr. Dongye seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Dongye has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm... Really worried about him. This mango scene? It's got some fresh looking leaves, soft, springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Deserock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course.
Release the wants and the mind quiets. Cleanse the thoughts and the soul clears. Let the winds roar! You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. I am Yan Yan, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person, Ju Yan. The one you're looking for, is he an average person? Not a resonator, I suppose. Yes. Have you seen him? Is he all right? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal.
This should suffice for a while. Speeding up. <gasps> Is that the beacon? Hmm. Oh. Mm, they don't look like... Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. Oh, uh, we, uh, nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! I... I can't move. So hungry. Oh, but please don't arrest us! We really had no choice. What happened? Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, cause we're so damn hungry. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? But we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. You're giving us all of these? Thank you, thank you. Hey, you, come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me, the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Take us in! Why did you attack us when I already gave you food and funds? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the Exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. I tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang, didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. No, wait. What I gave them was more than enough for them to make it to Jinjo. I used to travel alone when I left my master. I know how much it takes for someone to... Hey, what's wrong with you, girly? It won't hurt to give us more. Pain comes with coveting. He who knows he has enough is rich. It was only meant to sustain you. You don't understand, girl. You don't make money very easily in a time like this. 
If we can't find jobs in the city, we're gonna starve again. I came from a seclusive place, learning the ways of the world from scratch. It's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. No, I wasn't trying to... Wait, please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? That, that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reached it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? of the past. A nuisance. <laughs> Commence healing. Don't worry. 